So you may be wondering why it is that I'm posting this video or exactly what this video is going to be about. And I would say that this is something that has been a long time coming, is to really start some type of blog or a video blog sharing insight about life, um, relationships, marriage, since I am a newlywed, uh, and even offering spiritual insight through scripture. And so me starting this video today is just stepping out and starting this blog, um, showing this video to you all, and sharing some insight. And so this week's title or topic is called The Investment. So if you have a savings account or if you know anything about investing in the stock, usually when people do that, they expect to get something back on the money that they invest. And so in that same way, I believe that God has invested something within all of us. It's a, Whether it's a gift, a talent, a skill, um, something that he has given us to advance his kingdom. And so this week, talking about the investment, I have some scripture that I want to share with you all. And then I'm just going to just offer you all a few points um, for your consideration about this title. And I'm going to be reading from Matthew chapter 25. And I'm going to be starting with verse 14. And what's going on here in the scripture is that Jesus is talking about his return or the end times. And so he's using a parable here to teach about the kingdom of God. And it says, for he, for it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also who had the two talents came forward, saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also who had received the one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I scattered no seed? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So here you can see in the scripture is Jesus using this parable and giving the example of a master investing something. He gave something to those three individuals. And so based on what we just read, I just have a few things that I wanted to cover and just share with you all. And if you notice in, uh, let's see, I believe it was verse Starting at the beginning, and it says he gave to them talent. It specifies that he gave them their talents according to their ability. And so this means that he gave them something that he knew they could handle. And in that same way, I believe that God has all given us something that we can do, that we can handle, something that we can do according to our own ability. And so that's really up to us to you know, discovering God, what is my purpose? What gifts have you given me? What talents have you given me to advance your kingdom, to increase um, the investment that you have placed inside of me? And so this is something important for us to really understand. And then another thing that I wanted to share with you all is towards the, um, the end of the scriptural passage, it says, 
Um, in verse 24, the one who had the one talent, it says, he also who had received the one talent came forward and he said, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed. So here we see that this person, the master gave him something. He went and he hid it and he did absolutely nothing with what was invested in him. And this is really a misunderstanding that he had of his master. His master wanted these people to enjoy what he had given them. And he misunderstood him. He didn't know who his master really was. And so he went and hid it because he was afraid. And so I think in the same way, uh, sometimes we really don't understand, you know, who Christ really is. And so we may have these gifts or skills or talents, but we really don't know what to do with them. And so we don't ever act upon them. And so it's important that we first understand who Christ really is so that we can know exactly what it is that we're supposed to do with um, what God has given to us. And then another thing that I wanted to uh, share with you all is that the two individuals, they were commended for being faithful. Um, as you heard in the scripture, the master said to them, well done, good and faithful servant. It wasn't that they did the same thing, but they did different things according to what God had given them. And so, you know, in that same way, I believe that God has given all of us something. He has invested in some, us a gift or something, and we are supposed to increase that gift. We're supposed to give back to other people, share that gift with others, and that way we're increasing God's kingdom. And God will really commend us. He will bless us for being faithful with, with what he has given us. And so my challenge for you all is really to um, discover what it is that God has called you to do. Uh, discover what your purpose is, your gifts, your talent, your skills, something that you're good at, and really, really hone in on those skills and become better at it, work at it so that you can advance God's kingdom. And like I was sharing earlier with this video, I had felt like I've been receiving like confirmation to do something like this since last year. And it's a year later and I'm just now recording this video. And just thinking about this scripture and you know, I feel as if God had invested something in me to share, to share with you all. And by me not doing that in the same way, I was like being lazy, um, being afraid. I didn't know, should I record this video? Should I start a blog? I don't know. What are people going to think? Like a lot of different things were going through my mind. And so today, um, by me posting this video, it's really me taking a step of faith and sharing this message with you all that, you know, we all have gifts and talents, and it's up to us to to really increase what God has given us. We don't want, um, at the end of the day, when our life is over, God will say, you know, I invested in you this gift, this talent, and you did absolutely nothing with it. Um, so we just really have to trust God, get to know him, understand who he is, and step out on faith. There's something inside of you that no one else on this earth can do, something that God has entrusted to you. So in that same way, let us not be wicked. Let us not be lazy or um, slow to do the things that God has called us to do, but to really step out on faith and, and do it with diligence. And so that's just something that I wanted to share with you all this week. I hope that you all will continue to tune in in the upcoming weeks as I um, share different things, different insights. Um, but just remember that there's an investment. God has invested something in you, and it's my hope and prayer that you will discover what that is and act upon it.